in your hands. Well, we were dispatched to a stabbing. Um, our call details advised that uh, FEMA had just been stabbed by her brother. Uh, upon my initial arrival, uh, I began walking to the house and could hear uh, some yelling. It was obvious that uh, officers were in a struggle. He's got a can of hammer. Let's yeah, see. Slide him out of here. He's got a can of hammer. Let's make it hammer. I got it. I got it. Stevie, I'm going to come over and get another one. Okay. I'll get a seat. Let go of your hand now. Give me your hand. After several repeated attempts to uh, get his arms out from under him, he came up with a can of mace. It's important for the safety of us and for this, everyone on scene that we make his hands visible. Hey, put your hands behind your back. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you get his hand apart? Just break his hand apart and then I got to go. There you go. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I got his arm on now. We're good. We're good. Okay. There we go. Cuffing all the guys. Go ahead. Get your cuffs out. So I spoke with our victim. The victim advised me that uh, the altercation started over her dog. Her dog is very protective of her. Uh, she advised me that her brother had entered her room, uh, and her dog, you know, out of being protective over her, uh, had bit her brother. At some point, while she, while he was trying to go for her dog, he ended up stabbing her in the hand. I guess I didn't know he had the knife at that time. I thought he just had the broom, and I was trying to get him away, and that, that's when the knife went inside my hand. How big was the knife? Um, I don't know. I didn't even know he had a knife oh. until later on, and I realized I was bleeding. OK. Um, and then he went and got a hammer out of the laundry room and was on the bed, and that's when I was like, I'll call the cops. It could have just been a few inches difference from the point that he had stabbed her, and it could have usually hit you know, an artery. The uh, suspect's side of the story was a similar account. He, he advised me that the dog bit him on the face. He stated he had grabbed a knife and a broom with the intent to kick the dog out of the house. His account of the story was that sister picked up a table and had thrown it at him. Never would I ever hurt my sister intentionally. That, that occurred when she threw a table. So you just that said she picked okay, up a so table. She went with, so she grabs the table. Mm -hmm has it with her palms, and that just occurred when she threw it at me. But from what the paramedics saw, it's a stab wound. You were holding a knife. Yeah, the knife, your the, the, knife, knife? the knife and the broomstick were in the same hand. It was in my hand. I agree that it looked exactly like a stab wound. Do you think when she threw it at you, her hand hit the knife? That's, that's what I assume. So I spoke with the initial responding officer who uh, was the first one to make contact with the suspect, and she advised me that the suspect had the can of mace in his hands and told her he was going to mace her. The initial officer showed up. Yeah. As we're coming up to the door. I thought that you guys had your guns drawn. You guys didn't show, you guys didn't. So I was about ready for random strangers to pop in. But you guys you, didn't announce that you guys were officers. All you well, were, I mean, but you guys weren't we're in uniform, uniform yet. We're all in uniform. Uh, I, you guys didn't enter the door. OK, and so, so I, was, I told you guys that yeah. I was letting go of the mace. It would have been a lot easier if you just yeah, but, don't we had said. We take any threat of violence very seriously. Uh, obviously, being maced uh, by a suspect could potentially incapacitate us and uh, put us in a very dangerous, life-threatening situation. We ended up charging him with injury to a child, assault on a peace officer, and resisting an obstructing officer. Uh, is this decent stuff, or is it kind of ditch weed? It's Reggie. It's what? Reggie, like regular weed. Oh, OK. Normal. Well, I got bad news. You gotta go to jail tonight. Okay. So, just bring your hands up away from your body. Wow, I don't even know if the cuffs will fit on you. 